So when we look at uh, the prison population and the concerns with overcrowding, uh, there has been a task force, there has been a committee on alternatives to incarceration. One of the things that we can look at is addressing whether we should be jailing people who are committing crimes that are, at least in my consideration, victimless crimes. And sometimes people ask me about marijuana. That's one example of what I think is a victimless crime. It doesn't make any sense to me that we would take someone who was previously a, um, a citizen who was uh, contributing to society, someone who may have had a family, and because they are doing this activity, which is of harm to no one else, we may send them to jail. Now we suddenly have a family which needs state support through welfare at a cost to the taxpayers. We've also sent someone who was previously contributing now to jail where it takes taxpayer dollars to continue to support him. That makes no sense to me and there uh, really shouldn't be a reason why we are filling our prisons with people that are committing crimes which have no victims.